So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Want to drop off a quick video this afternoon with you. I haven't had a chance to film today, so James is taking me out on a date. <laughs> That's happened like three times in our whole life, right? <laughs> Since we've been married, because we started having babies. Uh, we have never even had a honeymoon. Oh my gosh, but here's the deal, guys. Aren't you glad that you're a prepper today? Aren't you glad you have done all the things that you've done? and are continuing to do all of the things that you are. Let's talk about the highlights. So I hope you are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. Yes, it's uh, gonna be cold today, cold tonight, but here is the deal. I want to encourage you to continue to do what you're doing. You're waking up, you're shaking up, and you're making a difference. You're making a difference for your family. So James and I went on our walk this morning after we did the barn and all of this. And I said, I, I got to make this video on these cinnamon rolls. And I will tell you that I have a little bit of a, at times, a mental moment, if you will. A lot of us women do, don't we? Where I go, how in the world am I supposed to act all happy about cinnamon rolls today? Uh, when we know that we have supposedly um, Chinese balloons <laughs> floating doing some type of something over the United States right now. First, that we know we have one. I'm seeing reports that there may be a second one coming in. You can, t you can verify because um, I haven't looked at the news in the past couple of hours, so it's changing by the moment. I know that the um, there's been some news broadcast about it and whatnot. Um, you know what? I I've got a quick, a quick answer for this whole mess. I've got a blow dart, a uh, pea shooter, you know, us folks down here know how to remedy things if you let us. But here is the bottom line. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Coming to see us. Listen, here's the deal. You're going to continue to face people that absolutely are doing nothing. You're going to continue to face people that tell you you're crazy. That you're conspiracy and you're nuts and you're doomsday and you're all of these things. How would I ever know? You know, I, got, I always get a little tickled when, uh, you know, one little part of me goes, wow, look what's happening in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Our airspace is completely being invaded. <laughs> kind of checking things out, aren't you? You know, and, you know, when people hear that or see that, do they think that's good? Do they think that's normal? I don't know. But we don't need to worry about those people. We need to worry about ourselves. So here are the things that I think that you need to focus on because this is how I'm staying put together. This is how I'm keeping myself together. Every day I get up and I make a list of things to do. I have my basic chores. I run this farm for the most part pretty much by myself now. My sons do help, but they are in school. My husband does help, but he has a full-time job. This is my show. This is my deal. So all of you out there asking, how, do, how in the world do you get these things done? You get up in the morning and you move your legs and your booty and you get the work done. And then from there, you figure out what you're going to eat and you figure out how you're going to strategize all the other things that you need to do. You strategize your time and you make sure that you are spending time with the Bible every single day before I really truly hit any social media, after I throw in a load of laundry, make a, a cup of something yummy to drink or whatever first thing. Sometimes it's before, sometimes it's after the barn. But the first things in the morning that I do is I make sure that I have my word with God. It really does help for obvious reasons, but it puts you in a, the, the correct zone. Put yourself in the category of doing the things first throughout the beginning of the day that puts you in the mental stratosphere of being able to handle all the stresses that we have and the ones that continue to show up. I don't know about you, but uh, I find what's going on rather distressing. Maybe I'm just a crazy mom out here and maybe I worry a little bit too much, but I think there's a lot to worry about, frankly. But you know what? I push back on that and I say, what am I going to do about it today? I, I, you know, you need to go over your preps. You need to make sure your animals are taken care of. Whatever is on your list of things to do that are considered preparedness or are considered normal, hit those hard every single day. Make sure you are taking care of your health because I'm telling you, the mental distress uh, that we are facing is going to be paramount with all of the things that are happening to our citizens. 
around the world, but especially to our citizens. We do not have any leadership in this country other than ourselves. You are on your own. I am on my own. I don't expect anybody to take care of me and my family, but who I know and who I trust, which is a handful of people within my very, very small community. Now we in a, in a larger unit, as far as our community can help each other, sharing recipes, sharing ideas, sharing ways to preserve food, sharing ideas such as how can you defend yourself in a crisis? All of these things, good foods to grow, good foods to put away. But we also have to have moments of encouragement that we need to take for ourselves. For example, my husband's taking me to dinner tonight. It'll be short, it'll be very local, it'll be very sweet. I have no idea if the food's gonna be good. I don't have any expectations other than spending just a little bit of time with my husband. You need to be spending time with your elders, listening to everything that they tell you. Because I'm telling you right now, it is the words of wisdom that we cannot replace. You need to be spending time with your children. I bought a brand new Scrabble game. I sure did. I'm going to crack it open this weekend and we're going to play some Scrabble. But these things happen and they are top priority along with the other things done. That means we may have to give up other things. I may not be on Facebook as long. No, nope, I'm not going to be traveling anytime soon. This is going to be a very, very busy summer. Very, very busy spring. I know a lot of you have asked if I'm going to be speaking at several engagements and I've been invited to come. And it's very difficult for me too, so I don't say this to be hasty, but um, I usually don't go anywhere that I can't get back home by dark. So I have to pick and choose my battles in terms of if I hold an event or if I'm speaking at an event because this is my sanctuary. This is my home. These are the things that I'm taking care of. We expect to have a lot of goat babies and to be milking critters and we are putting in gardens this year. I may put one to rest simply because I think it's important to rotate your crops and rotate your gardens. And you know, we have things to build and things to do. What do you need to do? This is what I was talking about on my last video or so. What are the goals of 2023? And since I've put up that video, I have been reaffirmed that we are on the right path. And I think many of you are also on the right path because you're making decisions that are life-changing. Do you need to be spending time trying to create a have or create or go work at an extra side hustle? Please be paying off any debt that you can at the same time, focusing whatever extra little bit of money that you can earn into food, water, self-defense, and a rainy day. No, we have no idea what all is happening. That is by design. But I know that it does appear that we are on our own, as I've said for a long time, left to look out for ourselves. This is not the first time that the people in this country have been faced with this. This is not the first time that our ancestors from across the pond also had to deal with many, much of this due to decisions or lack of decisions by so-called leadership. You have to be your own leader. You need to be your own bank. You have to be your own grocery store as much as possible. When I talked about my gardening situation yesterday, I had a gentleman or two misunderstand me and say, I don't understand why you're telling us to prepare and to do all these things, yet you're putting your garden to rest. Well, first of all, I didn't say that I wasn't going to garden at all. I just said that I was going to rest one of them. And the reason that I'm contemplating that is not just because I think it's important to rest the ground. It is because also I understand that the time that's going to be involved with all of the chores and all of the things that we have to do here to continue to prepare our homestead. So yes, you do have to pick and choose. But you know what, before I do that, I am ensuring and I am making sure that my pantry is squared away, that my skill sets are continuing to be finessed and that I can afford to do that. You know, you can put in every garden on the planet, doesn't guarantee that you're going to get anything anyway. You can go out and you can take a team of mules and you can plow up 20 acres right now you know what? By the end of the season, you may have nothing to show for it. That's not to discourage you from doing it. I'm just telling you, you better have a plan B, C, all the way down to Z. And that is what I always try to instill and try to remind my followers, which is what you're doing. And I'm proud of you. 
And I know that you see what's going on. And I know that you're not paying attention to anybody, whether it's people online, whether it's people in your community, whether it's people in your family, and especially people that like to just sound off and push back on us who want to continue to be in the know and continue to push you into the know and to think about all the things that are going on around us. It's really pitiful to see individuals discouraging others from understanding the critical times that we are in. Don't pay these people any mind. They're not prepared and they could care less if you are. And even if they are prepared, if they hold you back, and you sit cold and starving, believe me, those individuals are not the ones that will come help you. They will be the ones that come, show up, and take the biscuit out of your baby's mouth. We give them no mind. So I hope that you're doing well. I know a lot of places in the country are very, very cold right now. But remember, February is the time right now that you have the most ability, in my opinion, to plan. Anything that you can do today to plan to organize, even if you're just headed out because you need to run to the bank or you got to pick your child up from somewhere or wherever, swing into somewhere and pick up five cans today. Make it 10 if you can do it. Get the extra pet food if you can find it. Get the extra medication if, it, if it's on the shelf. Put it away. I will tell you this every single opportunity that I have because I believe in it, because this is the lifestyle that we live. You live, you're here, we're here. We're doing these things because that is what our ancestors did. Can you imagine if your grandmother had had a heads up in 1860, 1861, early 1861 of exactly what the, the next four plus years, actually longer than that, the devastation, how all of this was going to look and if she had had the opportunity to prepare just a little bit more, would she have done it? So you know the answers to all of this. You don't need to watch me to tell you to do anything. You have the brain and the guts that God and Granny gave you. That's why you're here and I believe in you. So I'm gonna go have dinner with my husband and I'm gonna to continue to pray for our country and I'm going to continue to pray for a miracle to step in. It's not here right now, but it's coming. And we need to be prepared for it because that's why we're here. That's why you're here. So next video, we're going to do cinnamon rolls. I hope you enjoy them. I hope I don't burn them up. You know that pressure of you make something, it turns out continually so good and good and great or whatever. Or, you, you know, ladies know this. You know, the t you know you can get up and for some reason your hair just did great. And then the next day you have to go to like a bridal shower or a wedding or somewhere. I don't know. And pick a place and you try to actually do something with your hair and it won't do anything. <laughs> well, that may be my cinnamon rolls, but we're going to go for it anyway. Because we're going to live life. And we're going to keep moving and we're going to keep preparing. We appreciate you being here. Hope you're well. Like, subscribe, and share. Stay positive. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But we're going to do it. We'll see you on the next video.